So one thing that I have to be able to do is to correct doctrine and to bridge the gap between everything that I know, whether that's from the Christian church, the Israelite movement, and the different sects on both sides. So we see that it's a lot of cat doctrine that I do not agree with. However, what I can say is that there's more in common than we know. And a lot of these brothers and sisters in camps are not teaching things correctly, but they are not full out lying. It's just not done from a completely historical standpoint. And they end up calling groups of people Israelites that are not Israelites, although there are Israelites among those people. Case in point, when we begin to think about the world at large, we know that Pangea existed at one point in time, and this was alluded to in the book of Genesis during Peleg, during the time of this, um, the one of the people who came out of Shem, our forefather. This is when the earth was divided, and you have to remember that the earth wasn't just automatically divided. When there are pilots on YouTube talking about the fact that South America is only three hours away from Africa. So you have to begin to wonder why Brazil has the second highest Negro population outside of West Africa. You also have to wonder why some Native American tribes, not all of them, have history and proven fact that they were being taken from the Americas into Britain and into Africa. You have to think about the fact that in the Bible there were always tribal wars against the Israelite. This is when you see the split of the kingdoms in the time of Solomon. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about. This is why certain tribes were taken out into the Iberian Peninsula over into Spain. And this is where you get your Ladino. Ladino is a language, is literally the Hispanic form of Hebrew. And this is why you have some of lighter complexion with curlier hair and, you know, some that look like your Cardi B's. What we have to realize is during the Dark Ages, when the Islamics and the Israelites were over in Spain and the Caliphate was in rule and the Jews were still able to keep their law, statutes, and commandments, that you had some Christians or some Jews who began to begin to be Hellenized, Romanized, and they began to, you know, side with the other side. You understand what I'm saying? And so when the Caliphate came out of rule, in 1492 you have to ask yourself what was really going on there are records of Christopher Columbus that says that he was really a Sephardic Jew how did Spanish really get into the Caribbeans who are Puerto Ricans who are Dominicans in relation to so-called blacks <laughs>